What's up guys? It's a beautiful day. I can be out here with just a hoodie and socks. Awesome. It's getting warmer. Looking forward to it. So today's video is going to be a follow-up video for Nootropics review that I did, I believe, um, a couple months ago now, right? And I've been using it for almost three months now, and it is this one. Panuromics. Finally learned how to say it on the third month. <laughs> So I had a couple of friends come by my house and um, you know they saw this ball around the room and like, hey man, is, is that one of those new brain pills? I heard, you know, th th they're good. D does it work for you? And I explained to them how it works. And then I even got a comment in one of my, um, you know, the only video I made about this and somebody asked me the same thing. So I figured I'd make a longer video um, explaining exactly does it work and the definition of what works, all right? So before I get into that, for anybody who doesn't want to stick around for a 10, 15 minute video, um, the answer is it does, it works. I take one a day on days that I've really pressed the gas and have a lot of work to do, I take two. And um, it's very mild, it's nothing like caffeine, there's no crash to it, and it's just a little boost in mood and focus, and you can prolong it for the day, right? So that's my answer for that, short answer, and anybody watching this will know for sure that I'll never end a video at one minute. <laughs> so let's get into it. All right, so first of all, let's look at the ingredients. It's not something I did in my first video, right? And cliche disclaimer, I'm not a scientist. I don't go too far into researching anything these days anyways. The reason being is most of the stuff that are like the majority of the factors that's going to result, like, you know, that I'm going to choose, it works or not, it's going to be my experience. And not only because the experience is the way you go, you know, it's what I believe and you should go through it. Um, it's also because a lot of the stuff that I read about that it should be common to other people and should be normal uh, is not normal to me. Okay. For example, um, Ritalin, Adderall, Hey, these are common elements, you know, prescribed by doctors around the whole country. You know, you can use this for college and education and things like that. But I had to stop that too because it just wasn't working for me. All right. Now I'll explain a bit what I mean by working, like I said. But first of all, ingredients. So I pulled up the a little tab. I pulled up some of the tabs on on um, Google with these, and you will be able to see my brief skim through how I go through ingredients like this okay so first of all ginseng taken by the mouth improving thinking concentration memory and it may have health benefits for Alzheimer's disease radiola root powder has been used for thousands of years in Europe and Asia ginkgo leaf powder is one of the longest living trees and living tree species in the world then getting into the brain compounds DMA bitrate Sound a little crazy at first, but naturally occurring compound in the brain. Alpha GPC, another choline compound found in the brain. L theanine, same similar stuff. Gastro root powder, another plant based thing. So, what the common denominators that I see here is passes the bullshit filter because I'm not trying to go completely the chemical compound of what this is made and how this, you know, breaks down into the brain molecules and stuff like that. <laughs> like I said, I'm not a scientist. All I'm looking for here is if it's natural, if it's been around for a while and has something to do with, you know, it's good for you overall. It doesn't even have to be for the brain, right? That's all I would have to pass through for me to allow myself to take it. That's what I really did in the beginning, right? Um, and boom. That's what it is, right? Once you found that, once I saw that, I was like, all right, okay, so I could give this a try. It looks safe enough, okay, if that makes sense. So I gave it a try and I've been taking it for, like I said, one to two months and the boost, boost as a lot of people are, you know, talking about nowadays with these nootropics is very mild, okay? It's very mild and um, it is the reason I love it, okay? For a lot of people, this might be like, what the hell, you know, I'm paying for this thing, I want like, you know, boost. And I would have to disagree with that. Because based on my experience, I can tell you that, especially if your lifestyle is somebody who's just 
eating cheeseburgers, you're a fat fuck who doesn't even exercise and stuff like that, then you come home and you take a nootropic and you're focused and you're getting your work done and you're killing it. It's just not that simple in my experience, this whole thing called life, right? You're going to have crashes. I can bet you that you're going to have some problems later on down the road. I was taking Ritalin for years in college when I had, you know, to cram studies and things like that. And I was focused, all good. When I looked it up, it's always prescribed everywhere. But over time, as I started to really understand how things work and I got into exercise, into meditation, I had to admit to myself, all right, man, this shit could be normal. Um, it's prescribed everywhere and it's sought to be okay by society. But the crash you get after is kind of depressive. You feel depleted. You have a slight migraine in the head, right? And I could even relate it to higher recreational drugs. So I was like, fuck it. I'm not gonna take this shit anymore. Really an Adderall out of my life, okay? If I'm gonna focus on something, I'm gonna get it naturally. Like, and at that time, I didn't even know nootropics. I just wanted to be like, all right, I'm gonna, you know, eat healthy. I'm not gonna eat anything um, that makes my mood go up and crash and things like that. I'm just gonna keep it mild. And it worked for me, right? I went on like that to until like last year when I was went to a point where I was not eating anything, junk food or anything like that. I don't drink alcohol, I don't smoke weed. Let go of all those things and my mood was more or less natural. And then I started meditating a little harder. I mean, not harder, but you know, for longer and more consistently. And I was off the roof. I, I shared it with my friends. Um, it's probably one of the biggest reasons why I'm here today. And then I read about, T, um, I was supposed to say T-Mobile, <laughs> Tim Ferriss, and he pointed me some of these ingredients and I found it in Paniromix, and I tried it and it worked even better. So why do I share all this with you? The reason I do that is because, so you can see a general lifestyle direction for me, and I'm not somebody who just went from, oh fuck, oh, I want to party at night and you know I need something to focus on during the day, so I need a drug for that. And then I, you know, like I, I get something. It's after letting go all the things, let me put in structure for you, I got a good one. Okay, so first you wanna let go of all the things that are bad for most people, right? Fast food, cheeseburgers, all this shit is bad for most people, you already know it, all right? Boom, let that go. Once you've done that, then you wanna let go of things that are bad for you personally, right? So for me, one of the biggest things was, um, that you could say Ritalin, yeah, personally, a lot of people, friends of mine were okay with it, I had to admit it to myself. And then to take it one step further, recently, about like last year, I really admitted to myself that I am lactose intolerant. I knew this for years. Every time I eat chocolate or a big ice cream, I get kind of foggy and then I get up to the stomach, but I would never admit it that it's actually a problem because, hey, it's just chocolate. This is normal, what the hell? And, um, but I finally started to stop. I didn't completely take it out of my life. I did eat chocolate in the last year, but not as much as before or, you know, maybe like once or twice a month. <laughs> But you get the point, right? You wanna let go of things personally after that are bad for you, right? Um, so currently my lifestyle is pretty bland, you'd say, right? I wake up, I eat food that doesn't make me go coma, right? I don't eat so much rice with all these, you know, potatoes and gravy and stuff that makes me feel like fucking taking and passing out at afternoon. I whatever I eat, I'm not gonna label everything, but if you've been watching my videos, you know that my food is pretty bland, right? Broccoli, um, rice, maybe in the evening, I eat pasta during the day, pasta and rice are not the same. Anyways, you get my point, right? Things are bland and keep kept even. Coming from that line of thought, when I started taking this, I got that boost. My memory was better, like I, I, I got to focus for longer amounts of time and there was no crash whatsoever. There is no crash whatsoever. And um, on days that I have to you know, really work long hours, I'll take two. I'll just take two at once, not one and then one of them. Two at once in the morning, empty stomach, I wake up, I take it, and then um, go shower, meditate, eat, and start my day, right? And, and I really get that, not just mental focus, but also my mood lift, all right? And this is something that is very important to me because I, you know, with a lot of work and tension and stuff that I sometimes can get a little frustrated, right? Um, I am known to be a little bit of a pessimist also, right? And with being, with having a mood lift, it's it does wonders for me, right? I'm happier, I'm calmer, and I, I get through my day with a lot more, a lot less stress, right? And so that's all I really have to say for this. You know, I, I took you through my little journey of um, how I went through my life 
of the things I neglected and the things that I don't take anymore. I don't recommend you go to this if you're somebody who's just like, like I said, you know, you're an alcohol addict, you're partying all the time, and you think like this is gonna help your life and you're gonna be acing everything, or whatever you wanna do, you're gonna be an entrepreneur, whatever you, calls your mental focus, I, I believe really your lifestyle is the main thing first, and then you can start something like this. Like I said, I did some basic research. It's all healthy, um, natural compounds, things like that. And then I did also some research on the company itself. It's certified in America. Um, the reason I did this is because, you know, I want to make sure that these ingredients that they're labeling are legit, you know, are correct to be first with. And also, overseas, the regulations for these things are not as crazy as in America. Like, I'm pretty sure the, this company had to go through some hoops and bounds to be able to even have this on the shelf in the stores and stuff like that. So that's it, guys. I hope this, you know, I know this was long for something like this. Um, I hope this you know, provides some value because I really think this is the general way you should go about it, right? Let me think, is there anything else to say? But yeah, you can give this a shot. I'll leave a description in the, you know, I'll leave a link in the description below. Pan you can get it from Amazon. Um, like I said, guys, um, I juice. This to me is very similar to juicing, right? When I choose, I put what? Lettuce. Well, actually I don't put lettuce. What did I put? I'm forgetting all the ingredients, but I have like, you know, I put spinach, apples, cabbage, um, a few other things and I put it all together like this much stuff and I get in like only one mug and I drink it. And on that, on those days, I do feel a little fresher. I do feel like, um, I don't even have cravings. On days I juice, I don't have cravings at all for any kind of outside um, chocolate or things like that. It's like a negative craving. Right? I don't feel like eating anything but healthy stuff. And I'm pretty sure anybody who juices can relate to this because I feel it every single time, right? And this to me is very similar. When I juice, it's not like I get focused and I can like just have a boner for working on my essays or anything. I just feel a mild focus and boost and healthy, right? And this is exactly the same thing, but in a, in a, in a capsule form, right? It has all these natural things that um, are available in the brain or have been around for thousands of years and you're just taking it up like a super pill form and you see how you feel about it in your days to come and for me it has worked out well and I continue taking it and I recommend other people to give it a try. Peace.